Hi, my name is Andrea Pate and I work for Corning Optical Fiber as a sales engineer. Today I'm here to show you how to unpack, transport, and store Corning Optical Fiber. First, you'll see a shipment. When it arrives, it'll be shrink wrapped and on a pallet. On each box, you'll find two labels. One is a box label ID and the other is a label identifying the contents of the box. These, I, these labels will help you identify what's in the box without having to remove the shrink wrap. So let's get started with unpacking. The first step is remove the shrink wrap. When you remove the shrink wrap, you want to make sure that you don't nick or cut the box. The next step is removal of the lid. When you remove the lid, you want to make sure that you lift it straight up. Inside the box, you'll find several fiber reels. Each reel is contained inside of a spool cover, and on the spool cover, you'll find a label which has fiber information. When you remove the fiber from the box, you want to make sure that you handle it by the handle on the spool cover. If for any reason you need to transport a reel without the spool cover on it, handle it through the arbor holes. When storing Corning optical fiber, reels should always be stored vertically, as I've mentioned before. In addition, you want to store the reels inside of their spool covers to protect the fiber from contamination. To remove the spool cover, squeeze the tabs on the outside of the handle. Prior to processing Corning optical fiber, we recommend that you allow it to acclimate to room temperature. This process takes about 24 hours. However, it may be longer depending on starting temperature and storage conditions. For optimum wine quality, fiber should be stored between 20 and 35 degrees Celsius. Most of our customers will receive their shipments in corrugated boxes. However, some customers will receive shipments in plastic totes. If you receive plastic totes, please use the same unpacking, transporting, and storage guidelines that were previously presented. For more information on our products, please visit our website at www.corning.com slash optical fiber, or feel free to contact our customer service line at 607-248-2000. If you drop a spool, the impact site on the flange may turn white. In addition, there's also the possibility that you will disturb the upper layers of the pack, creating cascades. Therefore, Corning recommends that you process the fiber at a slower speed in order to reduce the chance of breaking during processing. If you touch the fiber with your finger, you may contaminate the surface of the fiber. This could lead to downstream processing issues, such as breaks. In more severe cases, you could damage the coating. Coating damage could lead to system performance issues or field failures. Corning recommends that you inspect each shipment within seven days of its arrival at your facility. If carrier damage is identified during this time period, please notify Corning immediately and we will rectify the situation. Thanks for listening.